For more than 70 years, the centre block has been home to the House of Commons, but that will soon change in December as its doors will close for the next decade. Parliamentarians will moving to the West Block, which has been under renovation for nearly a decade. In January, we were given a special tour of the new building and we even got a bird's eye view. Here, have a look. Rob, this is quite a production to see this before everybody else moves in. Quite exciting. It is very exciting. Okay, first of all, tell me what you are most excited about in this space. Well, I'm really proud of this space and I think Canadians will be as well, as, as well as parliamentarians. As you can see up above, we have over 1,700 panes of glass, which covers the size of a football field. It is really beautiful. Now, what we are looking at here, this is in progress. These are not the actual desks. No, these, I can, I can assure you, these are not <laughs> the actual desks. And we have these plywood desks here, just so that all the testing and training can be done because uh, this has to operate as a broadcast studio. I want to ask you about the desks, because I think this will be the biggest change, not only for the viewing public, but probably for the parliamentarians who come in here. And that's the fact that the sides have flipped. So the Prime Minister's desk is normally in Centre Block on this side. That's correct. And where will it be now? So it'll be directly opposite. The whole chamber is, is turned 180 degrees. That's the, the Prime Minister's desk. As, as you said, traditionally sits on the, east, on the western side, but now will sit on the eastern side. And that's so that the whole chamber and the building itself will work with the new Visitor Welcome Centre so lots of things are staying the same, but a few key differences that we'll notice when we tune in. I want to go check and see what people will see when they, oh, when they come in here. It's beautiful. Let's go. Okay, let's okay. go. Wow. Rob, this is so impressive. Wow. That is a good word for it. Gets me every time I come in here. So how high up are we? So from the green carpets to the glass, it's, uh, it's about 75 feet. Now, when people come and they want to watch what's going on, they're going to ask me how comfortable are these seats. So can we try them absolutely. out? Absolutely. These are all seat. brand new too. I remember they the are. old ones were a little they squeaky. Are. They are absolutely brand new. Oh, they're very comfortable. So then we can just settle in and watch the show. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I'm not sure if we're going to have popcorn, but... <laughs> Like the song says, we are up on the roof. And Rob, what a view. This is on top of the West Block. It is. And what we're looking at here is, of course, the iconic center block. As soon as all the testing and training is done, and I think people are going to be quite happy to operate in the West Block for the next decade plus. Now, you showed me from inside what the glass roof looks like, but can we see it from up here? Absolutely. Let's go. Okay, let's go. go. Oh, let's go. So if you've ever been up to the CN Tower and seen the glass floor, this is a little bit what it feels like right now. This is the new glass roof. It is. This is the glass roof over the chamber, and we're standing right on top of it. And what about snow? I mean, we are in Ottawa. Snow is important if you're a <laughs> Canadian. So you can see kind of the beautiful arc, but that actually has an engineering purpose to make sure that it is, it, the snow actually sheds off it. And we've got snow guards to make sure that that is, all happens in a safe way. Incredible. Rob, thank you for allowing your morning and the rest of Canada to see what we would never normally see. This is, this is pretty exclusive. Thank you so much. Thank you. Our pleasure. Wow. So that last shot that you saw there, that's the one I was describing to you that it's in between the glass and the ceiling of the building, which is where we got to walk, which was very cool. Wow. We should say a very special thank you to Rob Wright. He's the assistant uh, deputy minister of the parliamentary precinct branch. Once the center block reopens 10 years from now and the MPs move back into it, everyone wants to know what's going to happen to the West Block. Uh, according to the government, we have been told it will be used for any of Parliament's future requirements. I don't what know what that means. What that means. <laughs> You're going to have to ask them. Right. But a couple other neat things that we didn't get a chance to show you in the piece. Uh, one, first of all, you'll notice the green carpet. You've mm -hmm. been in that, you've mm -hmm. been in center block, you've been in center block. So that green carpet, I said, were you able to get that Canadian made like everybody else? He said, it's the one thing that they weren't able to make in Canada because oh. that shade of green had to oh. be sent to England to be dyed so it matched and then it was brought back in. Uh, the other thing that we thought was very cool that we took a photograph of is, uh, is the bathrooms. So this is part of the modernization. The bathrooms are now a shared space. So they are accessible, there are change tables, and they're to be used by both male and female parliamentarians. Awesome. So that's the new bathrooms in the West Block. Very cool. That glass ceiling, I mean, that's just going to change the whole light in that room because it can look very dark yeah. uh, and very uh, kind of sad and, and mm -hmm. dark. Oh, the light uh, right? that but comes it in. Anymore. And what's fascinating is there are uh, levered 
um, I'm trying to think of what they're called, but they adjust to the to the sunlight, so it's never too bright. Oh. Because as our director pointed out, it looks like a TV studio, and they sort of designed it to be one because that's what the public watches to see their House of Commons. There are less seats now in the public gallery. Right, you were saying. But it is more TV friendly. Yeah. And the prime minister's on the other side, which is going to just throw everybody. It just, it, but it always those camera shots are always just kind of like, man, it needs an update. It needs an update, and now it's finally going to look that way. All right. Cool. Yep. So make sure you get a chance to see it uh, coming up after December. It will be open. It'll open in January.